Imagine a boxer in the ocean, its fists faster than a .22 caliber bullet. Meet the mantis shrimp. This vibrant creature, often adorned in hues of rainbow, packs a punch that's anything but delicate. It's the owner of one of the animal kingdom's most impressive weapons, its powerful claws. No ordinary claws, these are spring-loaded, club-like appendages that it uses to strike at its prey with the speed and force of a bullet. When the mantis shrimp decides it's time for dinner, it cocks back its claw, storing potential energy like a coiled spring. Then, in less than three thousandths of a second, it releases, letting loose a punch that accelerates at over 10,000 times the force of gravity. The speed is so intense that the surrounding water can't keep up, creating a vacuum that results in a secondary attack, a shockwave that can stun, disorient, or even kill its prey outright. This phenomenon, known as cavitation, is so powerful that it can shatter glass aquarium walls. When the punch lands on a hard-shelled victim like a crab or snail, the impact is brutal. The shell cracks open, leaving the prey defenseless against the shrimp's follow-up attacks. And all this happens in the blink of an eye, so fast, so swift it's almost impossible to see with the naked eye. In the blink of an eye the prey stands no chance against the shrimp's knockout punch. Next we descend into the world of the trapdoor spider, a master of surprise attacks. This cunning arachnid has turned the art of ambush into a science, employing a unique strategy that even the most astute of prey struggle to evade. In the heart of the underground, the trapdoor spider constructs its home, a burrow lined with silk. This is no ordinary home though, it's a well-devised trap, complete with a silk-hinged door that blends seamlessly with the surrounding soil. The spider's burrow, in essence, is its secret weapon, a hideout where it lies in wait for its next meal. But how does the trapdoor spider know when dinner has arrived? Well, the spider is a patient hunter, relying on the vibrations on the ground to signal the presence of its prey. The spider's sensitive legs pick up even the slightest tremors, alerting it to the approach of a potential meal. With lightning-fast reflexes the spider springs into action. The silk-hinged door of the burrow swings open, and in a blink of an eye, the spider lunges forward, capturing its prey. It's a swift, efficient and deadly strategy that leaves the prey with virtually no chance of escape. And just as quickly as it strikes the spider retreats disappearing back into its burrow with its meal. With a surprise leap from its burrow the trapdoor spider leaves its victims no time to react. Now let's plunge into the murky waters where the electric eel thrives. In the gloomy depths of South American rivers lurks a creature that's truly electrifying. Meet the electric eel, a creature that has taken evolution to shocking heights. This serpent-like fish, which isn't technically an eel, has a unique ability among the animal kingdom. It can generate powerful electric charges. Now you may be wondering, how does it do this? Well the answer lies in their specialized cells called electrocytes. These cells act like tiny batteries, storing power that the eel can release in a sudden burst. When the electric eel decides to unleash this energy, it's like flipping a switch, and a powerful electric current surges through the water. This electric discharge serves a dual purpose. First, it's a fantastic hunting tool. Electric eels primarily feed on small fish and invertebrates, which are swift and elusive. However, they stand little chance against the eel's shocking strategy. With a sudden discharge the eel can stun its prey, rendering it motionless. This makes the fast and agile prey an easy catch for the electric eel. But the shock isn't just for hunting. It's also a defensive mechanism. In the murky waters where the electric eel lives, predators are plentiful. But few predators dare to tangle with an animal that can deliver a jolt of up to 600 volts. That's five times the power of a standard US wall socket. So while the electric eel's shock may be a terrifying weapon, it's also a testament to the amazing adaptations animals have evolved for survival. In the challenging environments of the animal kingdom where survival is the ultimate test, the electric eel passes with flying colors. Its shocking strategy is truly a marvel of nature, a sophisticated blend of biology and physics that allows it to thrive in its aquatic home. With a jolt of electricity the electric eel ensures its meal doesn't stand a fighting chance. From under the water's surface the archerfish takes aim. This small yet formidable hunter has mastered a truly unique hunting technique. It's not armed with sharp teeth or a venomous sting. Instead the archerfish possesses an ability that sets it apart from the rest of the aquatic world. It can shoot a precise jet of water, a skill it employs with remarkable accuracy to catch its prey. Imagine a small insect resting on a leaf hanging over a stream. It feels safe, far from the reach of aquatic predators. But it's not safe from the archerfish. The fish adjusts its position under the water, 
calculates the angle and distance, then it takes a shot. With a quick contraction of its gills, it expels a powerful jet of water that sails through the air, hitting the unsuspecting insect and knocking it into the water below. But how does the archer fish achieve such accuracy? It's all down to a phenomenal understanding of physics. The fish takes into account the refraction of light, which changes the apparent position of its prey. This allows it to adjust its aim and shoot with incredible precision. It's a skill that requires not only physical prowess but also a keen intellect. The archer fish's hunting technique is a testament to the ingenuity of nature. It's a remarkable adaptation that allows this small fish to feed on a variety of insects and small creatures that would otherwise be out of its reach. With pinpoint accuracy, the archer fish brings its aerial prey down to its watery domain. In the dense foliage, the chameleon lies in wait. This master of disguise with its kaleidoscope skin is a silent predator that relies on stealth and precision. It's not the strongest nor the fastest, but it has one extraordinary weapon, a long sticky tongue with a deadly quick strike. In the blink of an eye, the chameleon's tongue extends, reaching out at lightning speed. This tongue, a marvel of nature, is as long as its body, and it's not just for show. It's a precision tool, a specialized weapon designed for one purpose, to snatch prey from a distance. The chameleon's tongue is a complex mechanism. It's coiled like a spring inside the chameleon's mouth, ready to launch. When the chameleon spots a tasty insect, it focuses its independently moving eyes, locks onto the target, and fires. In a fraction of a second, the tongue uncoils, stretching out with pinpoint accuracy. The tip, a sticky bulb, latches onto the unsuspecting prey. The prey is caught off guard, unable to react. The tongue then quickly recoils, retracting back into the chameleon's mouth, bringing the meal with it. The chameleon's hunting strategy is a blend of patience, precision, and speed. It's a testament to the ingenious adaptations of nature, a perfect balance between stealth and quickness. With a swift strike, the chameleon snatches its meal before it even knows what hit it. In the vast ocean, the humpback whale employs a grand strategy. These marine giants, known for their acrobatic breaches and melodious songs, also have a fascinating approach to hunting. It's called bubble net feeding, a cooperative technique that showcases both their intelligence and their ability to work in harmony. Imagine a group of humpback whales swimming in a wide circle, diving deep into the ocean's blue. They then ascend, spiraling upwards, releasing a stream of bubbles as they go. This creates a visual spectacle, a rising column of bubbles that forms a net, a barrier that fish do not dare cross. It's an art and a science the way these whales manipulate their environment. They're architects of their own hunting grounds, creating a bubble net that can be up to 100 feet in diameter. It's like building a wall, a fortress that their prey cannot escape from. But the bubble net is only half the story. To successfully trap their prey, the whales need a way to drive the fish into this net. That's where their powerful voices come into play. Emitting a series of loud complex calls, the whales create a wall of sound that pushes the fish upwards and into the bubble net. It's a symphony of survival, a chorus of cooperation that results in a feast. As the panicked fish swarm upwards, trapped by the bubbles and driven by the sound, one of the whales lunges upwards, mouth agape, in a single gulp it swallows a banquet of fish, a reward for their clever teamwork. This ingenious hunting method shows how humpback whales utilize their environment, their voices, and their cooperation to secure a meal. Despite their size and solitary reputation, these whales show us that in the wild, teamwork can make the dream work. With clever cooperation, the humpback whales feast on a banquet of trapped fish. The animal kingdom is a canvas of cunning and creativity, where survival hinges on adaptation and ingenuity. From the smallest shrimp to the largest whale, the animal kingdom is full of remarkable hunters. Their unique adaptations from the mantis shrimp's knockout punch to the humpback whale's bubble net hunting are testaments to the diversity and ingenuity of life on Earth. These creatures and their extraordinary hunting tactics remind us of the intricate balance and breathtaking complexity of nature. Join us next time as we continue to explore the wonders of the wild. Until then, stay curious and keep exploring.